Holly's guitar, the monitor, please. Holly's guitar. Yeah. Sounds great in that room as well. Yes, yeah, good sounds. Yeah. Yeah. With, with, yeah, with carpets and everything, it helps. It, feel, it feels homey. Yeah. You know, it does. You, like, you, you kind of feel like you're playing somebody's living room. That's the idea. The crews. Great. They're efficient and nice. Yeah, they're like, here's your guitar. It's all tuned. I was like, okay, I like that. I've never had that before. I'm going to get used to that. Somebody, somebody <laughs> tuned my guitar for me? <laughs> Wait a minute. I grew up in church. I've been singing for as long as I can remember. And I started uh, taking piano lessons when I was seven mm. and then um, taught myself guitar when I was 14 and moved to New York when I was 16. So when and how did you discover rock? Um, my sister, my older sister, who's, she was 17 and I was 10, I was getting records at our house from Columbia House and so that my parents wouldn't suspect anything she paid me in quarters to go out to the mailbox and retrieve them. And so I was the only one that knew that she had all these records and she would come home from high school usually kind of stoned and go into her room and put on her headphones and fall asleep and I would sneak in there with a flashlight and go find the box and, you know, pull out, you know, The Cure, Nine Inch Nails, uh, U2, Elvis, Aretha Franklin. I watch it made it this very, you know, sacred, um, experience for me and by the time my dad found the box which of course the first record he grabbed was the nine inch nails and read the lyrics about um can i swear on this about yeah, fucking yeah. fucking the devil in the back seat of your car and broke the cd in half and like made her sell everything but at that point uh i think the damage was, was done <laughs> Older, oldest sister lived in New York for the first year that I was there. I lived with her, um, but I'd gone to visit her the summer before and played uh, an open mic. I think I was 15, and I played my two songs, and they offered me a, if I wanted a gig, which was kind of like the coveted, like you know, what you're going for when you play that open mic. So I accepted the show, even though I didn't have any more songs, and um, went back to Michigan. And he'd written up a little review, Latch, the guy that hosted it, about my open mic performance. I ran downstairs to read it to my mom and she was making soup and she listened to what I said and then said, I think this soup needs more salt. And at that point I realized that I just had to get out. If I didn't leave then, then I would just, you know.